<laughs> Howdy. So I just realized I made like five in the last couple of weeks. I've made five videos about emotions and the emotions are tools and emotions are useful and emotions are we are not our emotions and how to get some distance between our mental space and our emotions and observing observation versus how we feel about something but i stuck them in the meditation playlist because over my adult life i've attended lots of various flavors of meditation groups and teachings and had instructors of various classes i've been in go to meditation groups and I've seen when it's worked well for people and when it hasn't. And I think I wanted to address the emotions because we're going to have them and we want to have them. We just need to learn to live with them and to be able to experience the bad emotions without it overwhelming our mental space. And I find meditation uh, let it be like breathing meditation or visualization or um, working with affirmations um, can help train our mind to be more resilient so that when the stuff does hit the fan in life, uh, like what I call life dramas, those things that happen that we certainly didn't have planned, on our already busy calendar, like a family illness or a death or a pet emergency. Um, I always call those life dramas that you just, you're like, oh, I had a schedule this week and now that is all blown away. Um, Cause I have to deal with uh, the life drama. Um, so it's, we practice meditating or breathing or um, self-awareness when it's quiet because then there's less distractions uh, so that we can start to get that framework developed. But the hope is that we would be able to go ahead once we get that kind of self-awareness and that, that intentional set that no matter what we're doing, we should can still remain calm and focused. Um, I knew in Seattle a long time ago, there was a, a, a Anglo, American Anglo um, Tibetan nun who was just getting started in her career as an author. And she really went on and on about, she really needed a quiet place to meditate. And the place that she was in didn't work because she could hear airplanes occasionally, or there was construction nearby. And I remember even then when I was pretty not aware of a lot of things, but I was aware of that. I was like, it seems to not be what the focus of, um, setting up a meditation thing is about. But anyway, because um, I've found I can even meditate like at a busy resort with families playing, it's the background noise, or meditate when you're riding the bus downtown. And the whole point is to be able to practice and work out your mind so that you can still pull yourself back to your intention and pull your attention back to the meditation, even when it gets distracted by things, because it's going to get distracted. That's the whole um, expectation that you're going to get extract distracted while meditating. It's what you do when you realize you got distracted and you pull it back to your practice. So, um, and there was another case when I was in, I was in a, school and one of my professors went on and on about going to uh, insight meditation course 
uh, group here in Seattle a long time. And she was the most brittle emotionally. I was, I remember thinking like, whatever you're practicing, it's not working at all. So I certainly hope that um, she has found some a better way because she could just flip into a pimp if you're you want whatever you're practicing to help you build resilience to deal with unexpected events because it's life on earth there's going to be unexpected events so it's how we cultivate an ability to respond how we choose to instead of just automatically reacting in a freak out so that's why i left that series of talks on emotions because I, I really see a lot of discussion online and in the current social environment about empathy and being aware of that and being aware of what other people or other beings are going through. Um, but we also need to be able to separate ourselves from our emotion, um, the useful part of our brain from an earlier um, evolutionary standpoint and they make our lives wonderful and they make our lives miserable but it's feeling that range of them that really I find builds such depth and richness to life 